Well, folks, what I have here is a 372 XP Farmer Tech kit. And I thought, it's my first build, I thought maybe I would film it just to see if somebody else might be interested in it. And my first foray into any sort of build like this or a video series like this. So hopefully the audio comes through okay because I'm not sure how well this setup's going to work. So I'm just going to unbox it here and we'll kind of check things out. Let's see what we have. Must be the piston cylinder. I'm gonna get a good look at those. Is this the oil pump, maybe? See if I can get it open. Oh, carburetor. Nuts and bolts and the crankshaft. Some more nuts and bolts. My plan is to put together a sort of build guide. I'll take measurements of all the bolts and washers and make up a list. And I think I have access to an OEM parts list so I can cross reference the bolts with the OEM part numbers. Hopefully that will help somebody if they're missing a bolt or need one or break one. I can provide some links to where you can buy replacements if we so need. I have to bear with me, I've got a touch of a cold. So I'll probably end up sniffling through the whole video. And I believe it's going to downpour outside, so you're probably going to end up hearing the rain. And there's the muffler and the recoil. I think the first thing I want to really look at is going to be the piston cylinder. I don't know if I'm going to actually do any real. Hoarding. I think I'm just going to clean up what's there, maybe see, take some timing measurements, and see how things go from there. Huh, oh, that's interesting. Here's that's going to be loud. Sorry about that. I'll hopefully I'll edit the audio so it's not so loud. Looks like the Bar studs are already installed. Interesting. Normally they don't come in pre installed, but these ones appear to be definitely installed. I know a lot of videos they uh, end up taking out the bearings and putting in their own. These don't feel horrible, they actually feel nice. Already pre-lubed. Seal doesn't look in bad shape. It doesn't appear to be a whole lot of corrosion or pitting. I'm going to end up stoning these surfaces flat anyways before I end up putting a gasket in. I want to pull out the pins if I can. 
making sure the hollow one goes up here because it has to have a bolt go through it. The solid dowel pin goes down in this hole, which appears to be full of junk. But everything needs to be cleaned up anyways. That doesn't look too bad. Definitely some machining marks, but it looks worse than it is. You can't feel the step there. Definitely needs a good cleaning. And there's our gasket and our ignition. Put this out of the way. Let's see what we got in here. Here's our gaskets. My plan is to measure them up and 3D print a block gasket or a seal so I can do my pressure and vacuum tests. Piston rings. There's the circlips. I think I'm going to end up trimming off little bit of those. I've seen that in quite a few videos. That piston's not horrible. Could use a good cleaning. Actually fits in there nice. Feels good. Let's see how the cylinder looks. Not a whole lot to clean. Definitely a burr there that needs to be cleaned up. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera very well. I don't know how well this is going to focus. But that right there definitely needs to be cleaned up. Those transfers don't look horrible, but again, definitely need to clean up the lips on there. Actually, these don't look too bad. Oop, that one does. The decompression release. I'll probably end up cleaning this up a little bit too with a grinding tool. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot of porting with it, just clean up what's here. I don't know if I want to adjust any timings yet or just measure what they are and go from there. But anyways, that's kind of a step one of the unboxing. Make sure all these tapped holes are actually threaded like they're supposed to be. appear to be threaded that need to be threaded. It 
just checking the seals again just to make sure I'm not going to have to order new ones. They don't look like they've been beat. Like I said, the bearings feel really good. I'll see if I can get some pictures of the part numbers on the seals. Let's see if they're, they're definitely... Pharmatech's not going to make their seals. They're going to buy them from a third party vendor. My understanding with these entire kits are Pharmatech doesn't actually build any of this stuff. They just outsource it to the cheapest supplier and you might end up getting a crapshoot what supplier makes the parts you actually get in your kit. You may end up with buying two kits and parts being made by separate suppliers on each kit. My threads in that are ugly. Hopefully they'll clean up. But I think I'll call it there and hopefully by next time I'll have some part numbers, maybe some drawings and links to some 3D printed parts. I'm going to make a puller, or excuse me, a uh, timing wheel adapter that will fit on the crankshaft so we can put a, our timing wheel on there. I'll uh, end up saving the files probably on Thingiverse and sharing that. Same thing with the gaskets. I'm not seeing an exhaust gasket. Must be one of these other bags. Might be in with the muffler. Probably will end up doing a mod to this. I've seen other videos where they'll slice it and then fold this out, make another port over here. That's rusty and ugly inside. I'll see if I can dig up that exhaust gasket. Oiler in there. So like I said, I plan on putting together some sort of, not necessarily assembly guide, because honestly, it's my first build, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it and if it's going to be done right, but at least a parts list of at least the fasteners, so that way if anything's missing or you need to break one or lose one, we have a part number to reference when we uh, need one. So I guess that'll probably be it for now. I'll put together some information and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.